What up, y'all? Welcome to MCTV. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, MC. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. He came out and admitted this whole time, which we already knew, that him, Anthony Joshua, the promoters, Aram, Eddie Hearn, they were all aware of the lawsuit and the fact that Fury was in the midst of going to court and dealing with Wilder, you know, in the courtroom. Um, somehow they still were advertising and promoting these fights, misleading the public massively, misleading everyone. Um, their credibility and integrity is shot and ruined at this point. The WBC is a big fraudulent entity. They've been doing some unprecedented things in recent times when it comes to boxing, allowing cheaters to fight, um, standing up for them, backing them. Um, and then Fury comes out, letting us all know that it wasn't Deontay Wilder's fault at all for any of the delays or postponements or cancellations of any fights. It was literally COVID-19 and, and everyone else besides Deontay Wilder. Um, and then also he goes on to say that not only was he dealing with the court case, Deontay Wilder won that court case and he lost. And if he doesn't make this third fight, he is court ordered to pay out $80 million dollars to Team Wilder, Deontay Wilder and his team, Bomb Squad. Um, shout out to the Bomb Squad. Shout out to my brothers and sisters across the globe. Y'all know what it is. Um, I'm just glad the truth is coming out. I mean, look, I'm I'm not hating. I'm not here to cast any negativity. But I just want y'all to know that Tyson Fury is very fraudulent. He's not doing anything for the sport. He needs to make this third fight on October 9th. And um, I can't wait for that fight um, so boxing can go forward. And uh, we need to do something with the WBC. Shout out to everybody watching this video. Subscribe to MCTV. I'll be back at y'all with another one.